In this video, I'll show you what the position function is, and I'll show you a couple of examples of formulas involving position, acceleration, and velocity. The position function tells you where an object is at a certain point in time. For example, this graph of a position function tells you in meters where a car will be in the first few seconds after its start. An object's position is always relative to a location. In this example, the car's position at any point in time is relative to the car's starting point. Taking the derivative of the position function gives you the velocity of an object moving in a straight line, assuming there isn't any air resistance. To put this another way, the velocity of an object is the rate of change of an object's position with respect to time. This graph shows you how position, acceleration and velocity are related by derivatives and integrals. Let's say you had the velocity function. In order to find the position function, you would have to integrate. Let's say you had a position function. In order to find the velocity function, you would take the derivative. And in order to find acceleration, you would take the derivative twice. Let's say an object has a position function of s of t, where s is a position in feet or meters or some similar measure, and t is time. That could be in seconds, hours, milliseconds, and so on. Our velocity function is going to be the derivative of s of t. Let's look at an example. We want to find the position of an object when the velocity is zero for the function 100 minus 16t squared. So we have the position function. In order to calculate the velocity, we need to take the derivative. The derivative of constant is zero, and the derivative of 16t squared, we can find that with the power rule so my derivative is minus 32t. That's my velocity function. I want to find when the velocity is zero, so I'm going to set the equation to zero and solve. Dividing both sides by minus 32 leaves me with t equals zero. So the velocity is zero when time equals zero, but I want to know the position. So I'm going to take my time of zero and plug that into the original position function. This part of the expression becomes zero, which leaves me with 100. And that is the position of the object when the velocity is zero. Here's a second example. The height of a ball thrown upwards from the top floor of a 1,000 foot tall skyscraper is given by this function. We aren't told it's a position function, but as we're told, this function tells us the height. Height is position. We want to find the acceleration function, and what is the acceleration of the ball at 5 seconds. If we look at the chart, we see that in order to find the acceleration function, we need to take the derivative twice. The derivative of a constant is 0 again, and using our power rule we get minus 32. The acceleration function is a constant function, minus 32. So the acceleration of 5 seconds is minus 32. I hope you found the video helpful. Please take a moment to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.